This is uh, yeah, Karim is big on social media. This is uh, it's, it's everywhere. Uh, no, no. This is uh, the hotel for the sun, and this is uh, the, the the biggest explorer of World War II collection. Now, Trevor, what, what drew you? Okay. Which which turned out to be much larger, much bloodier, lot many yeah. more tanks. Why why Tunisia? Well, why Tun Tunisia? You know, funnily enough, yeah. the Tun Tunisia is now not many people talk about it. Really, it oh. com compared to. Normandy yeah. or Sicily uh, or the Battle of Berlin or, or even Malta maybe or, or even Malta yes uh, or Casino in Italy the Casino yeah but in at the time in the first six months of 1943 it was very very big news there were two big big pieces of news in the beginning of 1943 one was Stalingrad and the second one was Tunisia. Wow. But it, Tunisia was quickly forgotten mm. because in the summer, the Allies invaded Sicily. So Tunisia is done. Don't talk about it anymore. Now we're talking about invading Europe, which is a completely different uh, thing. The uh, lack of promotion. Uh, yeah. uh, la lack of promotion. Ma ma Marath, uh, uh, so on. Well, Marath, a little. Gerba, obviously, that's okay. Um, but and a few in um, Kasar Gilan, Kasar Gilan, yeah, um, right, right. Matmata uh, mountains, but 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 very little. And so the valley of Tala, it's a valley between Gafsa and Gabs. Yes, yes, in Tala. No, no, Tala, Tala. It's a valley between two two mountains, between uh, the city of Gafsa and uh, Gabs. Oh, okay, okay. Um, do you no. mean El Gatar? Yes. Yeah, he's from Gafsa, so he knows the guitar. No, yeah. no, in El Guitar, there is a small museum yes. in the village. Pattern? Uh, the Pattern, a Pattern Museum. And um, it's run by uh, a, a man, I've, I've met him. And he took me. Tunisian one? Yeah, Tunisian man. He, he runs the so museum. It's a, it's a private museum. Okay. Yeah, private museum. He has a big collection of uh, debris uh -huh. from, yes. the, from the area. Was um, it was better in the palace. Yeah, yeah. And it was General Patton uh, was uh, in El Guitar. Thanks. And it would explain. So we are November 7th, uh, 2024, and uh, tomorrow, November 8th, that's the day Operation Torch started, which is basically the Americans and the British uh, embarking in Morocco with the goal of uh, controlling Tunisia. Uh, from one side, while uh, uh, Montgomery uh, chasing Rommel uh, from Alamein, uh, and the ultimate objective is to control or invade Tunisia and uh, prepare for the invasion of Sicily and uh, you know controlling southern uh, Europe uh, by the Allied uh, uh, forces. So this period in November is always. Uh, highly important for people who uh, have an interest or study World War uh, II. And we have with us uh, uh, Mr. Trevor Sheehan, who is uh, an authority on this uh, area. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we plan to spend the day uh, to go and explore some of the important uh, sites and have a lively discussion on, you know, uh, military history, anecdotes, and. Uh, uh, new discovery. So, uh, looking forward to that and a very, very exciting uh, day ahead of us. No? Okay. Difficult to say. I think the British and American official histories, which were published in the 1950s, they are the most accurate and detailed. Mm. But, but, there is one subject, neither of them discussed in the book and that was the enigma code machine ah. <laughs> because that secret was not revealed until the i think the uh, 1980s 80s, 80s, 90s. yeah at the end of the 80s so but if that had already been included in the official histories which were published in the 1950s they would have been a different thing for example the battle of midney general montgomery knew about Rommel's attack three days in advance wow. because of the Enigma machine, the, the, because that broke down the codes. Uh, Alan Turing, no? 
Uh, yes, Alan Turing. Alan Turing. Yeah. Alan Turing, exactly. Um, and, and that was never revealed in those official history books. Well, I would be surprised if I did. I would be surprised if I did. Big day because we are heading to the exact spot. The tiger, the mighty tiger 131 spot, captured in our spot. It's going to be a great day. What made the 6th and 7th um, was when the Derbyshire Yeomanry arrived on this hill and they could see the city. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah. And uh, all their tanks were a different colour. Uh -huh. to, they were the desert colour, and over there was all the uh, six armoured who'd been around for a long, long time actually. They would have crossed all these roads here. Andrea, have you been interested in uh, runways? You know, the runways they, that, that were built, and you know, most of them now disappeared. Yeah, I have. Uh, um, I've been to a few. Yeah, all the ones I've been to are the one block. I've got a, a map, I, I will send it to you, of all the airfields, Second World War airfields yeah. in southern Tunisia. Yes. And there were about, I think it was about 50 airfields. Yeah. It's a lot. And um, some are still there, and some are still used, like the one at um, Midnim, which is a military, uh, I think they call it MacMarta Airport. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. But I think it's military. Not sure. So they could be German, could be French, could, could be Tunisian, <laughs> could be Tunisian, could be you know. Where 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 these? Where where here? Where they found? I don't see full grass. The come away from Victoria. So the, this is uh, the Red Cross. Uh, no, no, Victoria. Victoria Cross. Okay. What is what is unique about this? What is what's uh, the, the way you are thinking of uh, uh, loyalty uh, obliges me, of course. No, this strange thing, like you, Imam or uh, why? Every regiment has a uh, it's a motto. Yeah, yeah, like a slogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I was in the army. Scottish regiment. We had the name. We had Scottish word called Baidan, um, and it's very difficult to pronounce. But it's basically a swear word. It's a bit like "fuck off." What's the word again? Baidan. Baidan. Yes, it's no, 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 get, very ancient. Get, get it, my Scottish, Scottish. My Scottish friend will will, he, will confirm. Does he speak? Does he speak Scottish? Gaelic. He's from uh, Glasgow. No, he won't. Okay. You have to be in the top okay, of Scotland. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think the sun of the original Howard Carter, who found the Tutankhamun uh, oh, tomb okay. in Egypt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mummy, yeah. Mummy, the mummy, yeah. Yeah, the mummy. Um, so, Lord Lyle, we are going to try and find where this happened today. Oh, okay. All right. Um, and he were, was on well, point, 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 point 226, which is where we're going to try and find this today. Well, yeah. So, um, no, he's got. They they have the name incorrect. It's the wrong name. Ah. Yeah. The original um, citation in the archives says. Uh, in fact, it should be Buakuz. Buakuz is, is, is the wrong name. This was buried in. Was two four guards brigade. So there was, let me think, the Grenadier Guards, the Irish Guards, and the Scots Guards, all together. And they started um, on this road, a bit further up here. Uh, and they, on their right, is the Loyals, Loyal Regiment, and uh, the Staffords, I think it was. Um, and the aim was to secure all that area over there, which we'll see fairly soon. And they um, they failed. Operation Vulcan was a, uh, a failure. Mm. Uh, their ob they did not uh, get to their objectives, and they had to withdraw. It was a, 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 a lot of people killed. In this particular case, the Scots Guards 
had to take out to capture this uh, position which was known as, by the British as the Boo. But it's Buakus, which is a, quite a complicated set of hills. Buakus. Uh, yeah, right. I have seen it. I have never been there. Today, we're going to go there. Okay. We are going to go to a spot there where probably nobody has been, I think, since 1943. You're not, you're, Other than you're not the local about farmer. The, uh, uh, mines? Mines? You go in front of me. <laughs> Mixed up with the Irish Guards. You had Irish Guards, and then you had the Scots Guards working together. And the Irish Guards, they had a unit on top of uh, point 212, which we will go visit. Um, and uh, he, he ended up um, getting fed and getting all his ammunition and everything else with the Irish Guards. And there was a, they got, he got very um, friendly with an Irish Guard soldier called Sergeant John Keneally. And they got very, very frustrated by the constant German attacks. So they decided to, a, a, like a moment of madness, they decided to attack the Germans. Single-handedly. 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 Yep. They are. Hey, Gary, how are you doing? Let's switch it. Gary, how are you doing? Such a Stand nice up. accent. I think they might have been drunk. I mean, otherwise, it's the only explanation I've got. A suicidal uh, A suicidal uh, attack, approach, yeah. yeah. Um, he was killed, Keneally was okay, then they killed something like 30 or 40 uh, Germans. And then a few hours later, Keneally did it again. Um, so I think he must have been drunk the it's, second it's, time round. It's, 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 it's funny you say that because my, my, my wife's mother, they come from a big family. Yeah. She has like 12 brothers and sisters. And maybe four or five years ago, he just stays in the outskirts of Glasgow. Me and my wife went to visit him. He's an old boy. He doesn't move too much from his chair. So he said, typical old Glasgow guy, he said, Hi, son, you still working in Tunisia? Joe, his name was. Joe Scotland. I said, Hi, Joe, I'm still working in Tunisia. He said, um, I was in Tunisia at the Second World War. <laughs> and I said, OK. He said, uh, just a brief visit. Where was the name of the place? It was an island, and then he says Jerba. Ah, he was okay. in the air force in Jerba. Yeah, and when yeah. you said drunk, because he, he still take, <laughs> he still. <laughs> he said, I remember we, we we got off the plane in Jerba. We were staying there a few days, and uh, he said we got so drunk that we were like sleeping outside beside the runway. Yeah. So just when you said that, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And booze was available to like uh, soldiers in the middle of the war. Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they they would attack. Because it would sort of lift their spirits to, 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 to be alert, to yeah. keep alert. Not, 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 not drunk, drunk. But the, 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 and the Germans the same. There were very few, you know, atrocities committed uh, by one soldier against another. But there was one just close to here, mm -hmm. uh, a place called Banana Ridge, which hopefully, we, if we have time, we'll, we'll visit today. It's where the um, on the motorway, where the payage mm -hmm. is very close to that, and. Um, some drunk German soldiers captured some British soldiers from a, a Remi unit. Uh, uh, um, it's like, uh, it's uh, like a the, mechanical. The, the mechanical like. people. who were in the wrong place at the wrong time. They, they caught them, four of them, and they decided to execute them. Mm. So they put them up against the wall of the farmhouse and uh, shot them. But one of them was an officer, and he was the, the, the shot was not fatal. Mm -hmm. He fell and stayed still, tended to be dead. Pretty hard thing to do. Mm. Just been mm. uh, the other three were, were, were executed, uh, but and the officer's report said that he thinks the German soldiers were blind drunk. So you know, well with the, with the legend himself visiting, you know, one of <laughs> the most unknown <laughs> graves of Tunisians, and it's a very lovely day to explore a side of history that most of us don't, you know, uh, know a lot about. Okay. Uh, just one sortie after another. Yeah. Went on for hours. Yeah, wave after just, wave. Wave after wave. And they, the second time they did something like that was at Normandy at D-Day. Okay. Um, the first time was, was here. <laughs> on, on this particular Using what? Uh, the British used speed fires? Uh, everything. <laughs> Except heavy bombers. No heavy bombers. Um, so it was all ground attack. And, and they were not, no particular targets. It was just to suppress. If they had a target, they would go for it. Yeah, yeah. But it was basically just 
dropping every ahead of the artillery. No, no. There were about, two, about 200 killed, and the rest tried to desert, to, to run away, because they, they were just overwhelmed. They had, uh, I think, something like 30 soldiers had mental breakdowns. Wow. And the corps commander, General Alfred, uh, almost disbanded the regiment. Mm. But what he then, what he decided, what his solution was, he sacked commanding officer, put a, 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 a new a new commanding officer in, and re, uh, the all the company commanders had been killed, and he replaced most of them with Canadian officers who were attached to the British Army mm. to try and change the regiment, mm. and then they got a lot of reinforcements, mm. and and, that, and that's fine. Do it, do it good. But uh, but it is unusual. Imagine the, the, the in the Sango Hotel, yeah. there's the famous picture of Rommel. Oh, right. Second edition. So, first edition, the printing would be very poor. Second edition, better. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is nice and printed. There's, there's no motorway. <laughs> there's measures on that. Using the British Northwest African grid. So, you have on here the two grids. If you look, there is, these are the grid lines, 70, 71, and so on, and then here, they are the British ones. Under, you, but you'll see beside it, but a little line there, mm. that's the French grid. Exact spot where the tiger that we wanted to one once hit, and then did you know back back down there where the the, the, the crew did the battery because it was the same bit couldn't you know the turret, but it's right here in this hill that uh, the famous uh, tiger one thirty one was captured, and it's the first time that the Alliance had captured a working tiger ever in history. Oh, not ever, no. I mean, where do you think the fuel came from? The Germans, how did they get there? No, no, no. Well, the Germans, no problem, they just put you across the bit. How did the Allies get there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, no. For example, the Germans, they used to set the oil of the coal. But how did the oil get? How did this oil that was in the Churchill tanks here? No? No, the. You couldn't do it by plane. No, but it's basically. I see. Where from? Romania. Venezuela. Oh, no way! Uh, all the all the oil, the, all the tanks here came from Venezuela. Wow. They would come by tanker to Casablanca. But there's a big oil oil yeah, storage. Up, uh, years up, <laughs> and then they would be transshipped from Casablanca to Algiers. And then they would go by coastal convoy to um, Anababa. His boat. 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 And then they come by truck. Right? Right. Venezuela. How about that? Oh, wow. It's a global war. And that's a really good example of why the Allies could win. Cal when well, uh, the uh, calm place that is no sound, but eight years ago it was a scene of for a for a big war. Terrible people, war. Terrible war. People were dying, people were shooting each other, there was tanks, there was uh, uh, military that it's, it's amazing, you know. It's fighting in a strange land. <laughs> <laughs> we are sending towards, towards over there, out of that bush. Yeah. 
Wow. Let's just see if we can get a... That push there into just the middle. That's amazing. We've already made it, guys. Uh, guys, uh... Three? You know what a can is? No. Can. A Cairn, C-A-I-R-N, is in Scotland. That's the oil company, yeah? Cairn oil. Exactly. In, in Scotland, you have, when a, when a mountain's over a certain height, it, it, they build a Cairn on it, which is just, it's just some... It's the second uh, row. Yeah. Plus, uh, yeah. 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 Detail, huh? And it doesn't go bad, the ink. Oh, it's uh, detail. Uh, well. um, and they were they lost a lot of soldiers. And then they went round there to this olive grove and then climbed up that direction up to point two one two. And then the space of from there to there. They lost about probably about 150 soldiers. Wow. Killed, killed in the same. That must be hunted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so before they're there, they've got spawns to protect the north. It's like what? Okay. Come on. So how are we going? Two, one, two, two, one, two. Yeah. We're going to go back the way we came. Huh? Back the way we came. Yeah. Can you have a side? Captain, here next to that bush. Yeah, anywhere around here, really. Yeah, we have, we have, we have to. You know, it's. I've, I've measured it. It's big enough to put the tiger in. So, and they've got an overhead crane. So, I think that's almost certainly original. That's where. So, anyway, that's the Tiger HQ. Someone is coming. Distance. That's the. Uh, it's called the name of the, the hill. Long, long stop hill. Long stop hill. That. Uh... We made it to see that you know some uh, like back the hill there. It's uh, some landmarks are uh, very important. Uh, you know witnesses for the World War II. It's, uh, that you can come here and see them and don't make pay attention to them, but. They are very, very important uh, to history, and uh, I'm exploring with the river today places that I've never been. I would never guess that they have been uh, so important, and most of all, they they are very, very important. Not sneak visit. I heard the expression "mad dogs" in and their idea. Yeah. Why this was the key route to invade. But you can't do, you can't take, put your armour down here unless you've got this position in, in your hands. If, if you've got Germans up here, then they've got all the artillery observation posts. I mean, it's just a, an artillery observer's dream to have tanks here. Yeah, they will show them like easy. Oh, yeah. Any piece, you see? Yeah. This area must have been bombed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for example, artillery. You know, when uh, nineteen forty three. Oh, since and uh, is it uh, some kind of, you know, is it used for a flag or... Yeah, so for it without, without first. Yeah, yeah. So it was a concrete crucifix. Uh, uh, yeah, crucifix. Uh, now in Tunis. That was built uh, to, you know, commemorate, uh, you know, foreign comrades. Yes, they had a big uh, display here. When uh, hundred of the survivors yeah. came, up, came up here. They did a ceremony with the priest and the church service. And uh, those are the, the British? Or, yeah, the or, Irish Guards. The Irish Guards, okay. Yeah, that was the start. 
The enemy was so surprised that the Lance Corporal repeated his exploit on the 30th of April when, accompanied by a sergeant, the sergeant assault was sort of the charge of the enemy, forming up for assault, inflicting many casualties. Even when wounded, he refused to give up, but hopped from one fire position to another, carrying his gun in one hand, supporting himself on a comrade with the other. He was remembered. Winston Churchill's famous broadcast on the 30th of May, 1945. This is what Churchill said. When I think of those days, I think also of other episodes of personalities. I do not forget Lieutenant Commander Esmond or Lance Corporal Keneally, who's here, Captain Flynn, other Irish heroes at the Museum of Science. All the bitterness by Britain for the Irish race dies in my heart. I can only pray that in years which I shall not see, the shame will be forgotten, and the glories will endure, that the peoples of the British Isles and the British Commonwealth nations will walk together for the truth of creation and us. German or uh, German or British? Can you see at all? It says? Well spotted. That's what I'm looking for. It's a great day. <laughs> Summary, uh, it's my pleasure. pleasure. To see the, the American uh, cemetery and then to see the spot where they, they captured the Tiger 151. Yep. And here is the, what is the name of the hill? Uh, oh, yeah. one, uh, 21. 212. 212. It was a, it was a, say, the last uh, German over here before playing. Yeah, I mean, the, the German, German, how do you call it? Not the 